What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then I wanna show you how to find products that have the capability to do over 3,000 pounds in sales in one single day. So here we are then in the Shopify dashboard of one of my stores, and these are the sales numbers from last week then. So I, for this store, I typically average around kind of like the 2K mark. As you can see, it fluctuates up and above kind of around that number. But then actually on the 29th, I did a little bit over three grand. It dipped down to where it usually sits, but then actually on the 31st, it jumped up to almost four thousand pounds in one single day so with this particular store then probably 85 percent of the sales come from one single product and then the other 15 percent is made up from a simple upsell offer so what i've done then is i've put together a list in this google document of just the different websites different tools and different methods that i used so i'm just going to run through these quickly then with you guys one by one um, and hopefully help you guys then find some pretty decent products as well but before we get into this then as always i am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me on this video all you've got to do then to enter the draw is simply like the video and leave a comment down below and if you commented on my previous video then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced and that means so then let's get straight into this so ideally then you wanna go for products that solve a problem slash make somebody's life easier because then there's a need and a want for the product. And if you can, then you wanna try and find a product that people have never seen before. And this is the hardest thing to do. So when people typically then talk about saturation when it comes to drop shipping, most of the time then they're talking about selling the same products or advertising the same products that everybody else is advertising. So to differentiate yourself from everybody else, you either want to make sure you advertise that product in a different way. So when people see your ad, they see it as a different product because it's not just the same image or same video, or you actually do want to advertise a unique product that you don't see typically very much on Facebook. And you can do your own research and to see if there are ads of a particular product, which I'm gonna be showing you later on in the video. So cost-wise then, ideally, you wanna try and find items that cost less than $10 to you, and that is delivered as well, um, for a couple of reasons really. Number one, because then you avoid any kind of import taxes if you are shipping to the UK, because the limit is around the 15 pound mark. And then perceived value-wise, you wanna try and make sure that when somebody sees that product, they're happy to pay at least double what you're paying for it. So if you're paying $10 to live delivered, then you want a perceived value of at least $20. That way it's gonna leave you at least $10 cost per purchase, which is kind of like a decent amount um, and a decent target to work towards when advertising on Facebook. So total orders wise then, typically I try and find a product that has over 500 orders, but as it says there in brackets, that is just a guide. So orders, you can't 100% take that figure as your deciding factor of whether you've got a winning product or not, because a product might have 10,000 orders, but then all of those orders might be going to one country, which means there's a whole bunch of other countries which haven't seen that product or haven't been ordering that product, and therefore it may be a good product. So the first couple of ways I want to show you then is simply using AliExpress. Obviously this is where we are sourcing our products from, so it's a great place to start your research. So I've got my AliExpress dropshipping center open here. The way you access it then is if you simply go into your account, click my AliExpress, and then you can see up here, we've got a tab for dropshipping center. And then these are the three things that I'm just gonna run through with you now. So hot DS items is hot dropshipping items. It's gonna show you the popular items essentially that other people are buying and dropshipping. And then if you just bring down this tab here, you can select the hot dropshipping items for each niche as well. So if you have built a niche store and you're struggling to find that winning product, then you can simply go in, find your niche and find one then that is selling really well in your niche. So let's say for example, you're selling um, earrings, we can click on earrings and it's gonna give you the earrings with the most amount of orders. So the next thing then that I want to show you then is this trusted suppliers rank. And this is actually really be good because it shows you what are the best rated suppliers are on AliExpress. And again, you can filter this by category. And then when you find a store, so let's take for example, this, this store here, it looks like they sell dog um, products. Um, there's a couple of interesting ways then I like to find products using this method. So number one is obviously the top selling. You can scroll through, try and find a unique item that you haven't seen before. It's always good to have a knowledge then of the niche you're going into because then certain products will stand out to you because you have a knowledge of the niche. And the other thing I like to look at as well is new arrivals. This is really 
a tab you should be checking out quite a lot because if you can find a product that grabs your attention, looks really good and be one of the first people to sell it on Facebook, then that's just a recipe for going viral and essentially just making loads of money off one product. And then the third and final thing, just to double check with the notes, is the product analysis. So if we just go back to our hot drop shipping items, we'll let this load up and let's just take the wireless earphones then for example, because I know for a fact that these are really popular right now. All you do is you take the URL, head back to the product analysis, We'll put the URL in there, click search, and it's gonna give us the sales history of a particular product so we can make sure that we are essentially going into this product and going to start selling this product at the correct time. So as you can see, sales are fairly steady. Then for whatever reason, sales shot up um, last week, in fact, and then sales started to drop down. Perhaps they had some sort of sale on, um, and then you can see they're so slowly starting to creep up again. So to me, what this tells me then is that sales are fairly consistent. So it's quite a solid product. There's quite a solid demand for this at the moment. So now then would be a good time to actually go in and start selling a product like this. What you would want to avoid then is if the graph was say in this top left corner and it was steadily and slowly declining, that would be a sign in of a product that is coming to the end of its demand. And therefore it wouldn't be a good time to sell a product like that. So back to our notes then, the next thing I wanna show you then is C the CJ Dropshipping Marketplace. So these guys work with dropshippers and they can source and ship products for people like us. So these guys have got a first-hand experience of exactly what products are being sold and fulfilled and shipped. And therefore, it's a great place to start with research because it's gonna tell you, as you can see, you can filter by the last seven days, last three days, and it's gonna tell you how popular these items are, or essentially how many sales have gone through in this past amount of days. So again, it's just a great place to look and find products. I was having a look at this website earlier, in fact, and this product here grabbed my attention, especially with summer coming up, people spending more time outside going to the park. I think a product like this was gonna absolutely kill it. And again then, if if you've already chosen a niche, you can filter by the categories, choose whichever niche you're in. So home and garden with the summer coming up is gonna be a good niche, a good popular niche. And again, it's gonna show you the most popular products um, that are available that you can go ahead and drop ship yourself as well. So back to the notes then, the next thing I wanna show you then is Google Trends. So if you're not using Google Trends, then make sure you get used to using it because again, when it comes to you can pretty much just search a product and it's gonna tell you exactly what kind of search volume it's getting and has been getting then all the way from, well, the past five years you can go from. You can select the country as well. So if we were to go worldwide, and as you can see, I've put wireless earphones in the search term. We can see that wireless earphones are on the upward trend. So again, as I mentioned earlier, a very good product to get into right now. And what we want to avoid then is if the if the graph was going the other way. So if it was on the way down, then that is a bad sign. It shows that that product is coming to the end of its trend um, and therefore less and less people are buying it. Another thing as well is that Google Trends tell you, you where this popularity is coming from. So if you're not sure what kind of products you wanna sell in, one of the beauties of dropshipping is we can sell to pretty much any country that Facebook will allow us to and whichever country ePack it will ship to then we can see exactly where the demand for a particular product is as well. So that being said, then that's Google Trends. Make sure you get used to using it. Um, find your way around it. It's fairly simple to use and definitely a valuable tool. It's 100% free as well, so definitely worth using. So back to the notes then. Another thing you can do then is use Facebook to check on competitors and then model the ads that they're running as well. So just as an example then, all I've done is searched for teeth whitening and then the words get yours because they're the kind of words that you would see in an ad. And if you just click on videos like I have done here, it's gonna list all the different videos with those keywords in and it's gonna give you the views as well. So you can easily find a video that's got a decent amount of views. So for example, this one then that's 2 million, I can open that up. Uh, so for whatever reason, it's not loading. Let's try that again. Sorry about that. For whatever reason, my internet just cut out. So for example, then this one here, we can see it's got three quarters of a million views. We can open that up and we can see the exact ad they're running on which we can go ahead and then model our ad on. And if we have a look at the ad description as well, again, we can model ourselves on that. As you can see, like the most effective ads don't have to be really complicated. The simplest thing works. And 
that's handy in fact they've got a short URL as well so another little trick I can show you is if you just copy and paste this into your URL bar and put a plus sign on the end then it's going to tell you as well how many clicks that URL has had so it can gives you an idea then of how popular and how interested people are in that particular product and it will tell you as well where that traffic has come from so as you can see a lot of it's come from Facebook uh, the majority are mobile so it gives you exactly what you need to model your own Facebook ads on so again back to the list now they're all the kind of like different methods I used to find that particular product I showed you earlier in terms of how you would then go ahead and start marketing the product it really does depend on the product so Facebook works best then when you want to target a specific country because you lose that control when you use Instagram influencers because somebody might have a hundred thousand audience size but 50,000 of those might be from the US 30,000 from the UK and then 20,000 from a whole load of different budget countries. So if you wanna focus on one particular country, so if you just wanna focus on the UK and you just wanna focus on one specific audience as well, so people interested in dog walking, then you can't beat Facebook. The options and different targets and variables it gives you is just second to none um, to any other marketing platform. And then if you wanna go down the Instagram route, then things, niches such as the fitness and fitness and fashion niche, niches I can't talk right now um, tend to work the best because they're quite visual niches and those spaces then are absolutely huge on Instagram so when it comes to things like Instagram influencers again they just lend themselves towards that towards that method of marketing and a couple of quick tips then when it comes to Instagram influencers stick to a personal brand so a page that has a face behind it and try and if you're tight on a budget as well then stick to influencers with a smaller audience size so anywhere up to half a million at the very max Instagram also works really well for brand heavy products so for example then people buy fitness clothing and fashion clothing or just clothes in general because of the brand it has on them so if you want to build a brand from day one then getting an influencer on board is key to your success because if they agree with your brand and your brand's vision and mission statement and you can get somebody with a decent following to represent your brand people will want to buy your clothes because of who's wearing them and that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up there. I've just have, just about went through everything I wanted to. Any questions on any of this at all, please do leave a comment down below. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, if you're still watching, thank you very much. Hopefully it is because you enjoyed the video. So please do leave a like. And if you want to be entered into that one-to-one -one raffle as well that will be announced tomorrow, then don't forget to leave a comment down below as well. So that being said, guys, thanks for watching. And let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. So here we are then, guys, on the previous video, um, how to create high convert product pages for your Shopify store. So it was quite a heavily requested video actually. So if you haven't watched it yet, make sure you go and check it out. Um, so I'm just gonna take the URL, head over to our random comment picker, get the YouTube comments, start the raffle then, see who's gonna be the winner. We've just hit 4,000 subs as well, which is awesome. So thank you very much guys. It's all thanks to you who watched the videos. And the winner then is Floesh. Uh, thanks for the value. So thanks for your comment. Make sure you reach out on Instagram and we can get that call arranged. And that being said then guys, if you just wanna get down to business and get a call booked right away, then you can do so. There is a link down below in the video description. And that being said, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.